Good morning. It is 11 a.m. on Sunday, the 4th of August, and it is time for. Day in my boojay. <laughs> Today in my boojay. So, how are you? <laughs> so, how are you? Are you having a good day? Right, shift your feet so I can scooch a little bit further forward. Because I'm fat and I have to sort of lift myself to make my chair roll on the carpet. <laughs> It'd be easier if I was on a laminate floor. And we have a new chair. Carpet in my Oh, we do. We have a new chair. I'll show you a photo because it'd be easier. That's it. Just there. Yeah, that's Hang on, hang on. Chair. Let me just embiggen me. That's, that's my new chair there. Yeah, that's the new chair. Okay. So, and, and just can, to show you a photo, go you're going to sit on my new chair, are you? Just to show you a photo of the new chair hang on i'll show you in the uh, the one up there <laughs> um yeah this is this is my new chair basically um i went shopping yesterday to look for junk journal supplies yeah because wendy's chair. been like you know i'm gonna get you junk journaling or scrapbooking or whatever Mom. if it kills me and i've been binge watching 49 dragonflies on youtube Mommy. i've literally just watched her entire 126 videos in a minute or a uh, playlist of junk journal with me and i'm inspired so i went to a charity shop yesterday and um to look to look for supplies and i walked out of that chair instead <laughs> yeah um, no I, I found a couple of bits but Shush, please. Oh, yeah, Daryl. No, they've seen your crayons. Um, you guys haven't seen them. Yeah, I, I found a couple of bits, but I wasn't sure if that shop had a card limit. You know, a lot of places have a minimum card amount that they will accept. Um, so I went round and, and sat in this bloody chair. It was right by the door, and I was like, oh, look at that. And as you know, at the moment, I've hurt my back. So I sat in this chair, and I thought, it's going to lean back too far. Why is my camera shaking so much? I have no idea why the camera is shaking so much. It might be because that cable's... I don't know. It's, it's obviously touching somewhere. Hang on. That's better. Um, and I thought it's going to lean back just that little bit too much. You know? And I sat in it and I looked back and all the pain in my back disappeared. And I was like... Oh, this is lovely. And my feet were flat on the floor. Now I'm five foot, I'm only five foot two. And when I'm sitting here in this chair talking to you guys, um, I have to put my chair high so that I'm at a comfortable level for my desk. But I'm too high up, my feet don't don't really my feet won't aren't flat on the floor. I put my toes on the floor. Like tippy toe like you know, like that sort of thing. But I can't put my feet flat. Uh, my back hurts you know a lot my, don't jump on my chair i'm watching you get down get down you do not jump on that chair get down um and it's the perfect size for me i sit in it my bum is nicely cushioned either side there's no slide movement i don't lean when i put my arms on the arms of the chair my elbows on the arms of the chair i and it's it's a perfect height even the back of it is just a slightly bit lower than the back of this so that i can actually just rest my head back like that it's fantastic the only issue that there's two issues with it first off the arms are a bit because it's like a silk cover it's gorgeous the arms are a bit worn the stress of where it's been stretched over over the years and it's it's obviously given a little bit um but i'm gonna see if i can get my sister-in-law to help me make those arm coverings that they used to have on the olden chairs got quite fancy though something a bit pretty you know um no toys off toys don't go on there and um it smelled musty it's maybe gotten a little bit damp somewhere along the line or it's been you know it's 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 been a bit too loved and then i think it was abandoned for a bit you know and um so i looked up online and it said to spray um with one-to-one -one water and vinegar apple cider white vinegar or apple cider vinegar so i had some cider vinegar so i did a one-to-one -one mix of that and i also chucked in 20 drops of fuchsia 
essential oils. Sprayed it all. And it no longer smells musty. It does smell slightly of vinegar, but that, that really doesn't bother me. It'll bother, bother Alex. He won't sit in it because he can't stand vinegar. But um, he did try it yesterday. Even he, at six foot two, said it was a very comfortable chair to sit in. So I am over the fucking moon. Of course, within five minutes, the cat came actually came in here. She doesn't come in my office at all. She doesn't come in here because I chased her out a few too many times, found her sitting on top of one of the snake cages. Um, that cage was mesh and she used to keep getting on top of it. And I chased her out a few times. And after that, she doesn't come in here. She came in, jumped straight up on that, sat and had a watch. And I was like... And then I um, I did a bit of research on this chair last night because the, the company name's still on the bottom of it. Uh, that chair brand new is about 500 quid. I'll pay 35 quid for it. I was like, I got bargain. Fucking bargain. I am chuffed to bits with that chair. Absolutely over the moon. So yeah, the vinegar smell will eventually ease off and hopefully the musty smell won't come back. So the challenge is, I haven't drawn anything. I didn't draw yesterday, um, but I, I did do the lettering challenge. I really need to find a little, should have done a little doodle challenge just to fill in on the days when I'm not inspired to draw something, you know. Um, I did have booze yesterday. Um, one can or less is that, no chips. What did we, no, I had chips because we had pizza and chips. Did I craft? No. So I need to do about today. I did the garden, I did the weights, and I did my night care. See, I did something at least. I apologise that yesterday's video was not complete, that I didn't finish off last night. But after I sat and watched Amanda's live and did a few other little bits, my back was screaming, which is why actually I had a couple of drinks last night. Um, and it, I was in such a, a state that I was just like, do you know what? I'm going to go and lie down in my bed where it doesn't hurt. So, um, I think yesterday was, I think it's going to be a happy day. But the pain is very, very bad. So we're going to go back to 177. Daryl, I told you not to put that on my chair. If I find it on my chair again, I will take it away. Okay. Right. If you want to play with that, you have to sit on the floor, please. And I think who used to have it had a red blanket on it. Hey, what are you drawing there? Because um, I can find there's like red fluff in the creases of it. So I want to get my hoover on it and give it a damn good hoover to get what all the... Are drawing? Drawing a sun to get all the um, fluff bits out. And I might make a blanket for it or something. No, I don't want that one. So, yes, I'm going to put that it was happy because Mommy. I was very, very happy. Mommy. What? Can I have my sword? Not right now, no, because I'm online. It's still up there. I know it's up there. You need to do it down. So there we go. Right, yesterday's steps. Oh dear. I actually did step quite hard. I was stupid yesterday. This is this is why I couldn't do last night. I walked into town. Um, yeah, look, 5.59 miles. And, um, I, hang on, you tell people in a minute. Yeah, I walked into town and then I walked home again. I should have caught the bus home. Daryl said, let's catch the bus. I was like, no, it's fine. Let's walk home. Um, the, the. I take the driving car. Yeah, hang on a minute. I'm still telling people. The walk home was me. I, I must have looked like I was in labour because I was walking along, leaning back, me handing this one on my back, going, oh, every few, every few steps. Yeah, not one person asked if I was all right, but then they don't, do they? Um, so we walked all the way home and then dropped off our shopping. Luckily, I had to take on my trolley, so I wasn't carrying stuff. I was just pulling the trolley. 
And um, then we take the car driving. Yeah, we got in the car, didn't we? And we went yeah. to ta back into town to pick up my new chair. Yeah, I was I was in the front. You were in the front, weren't you? Yeah. You like that? Yeah. And then can would painted the heavy chair. Yeah, I phoned um, I phoned my daughter <laughs> and her boyfriend, and I, was, I said, um, "Look, can you guys meet me at my house?" So because I can't carry this in. And um, thankfully, bless her, her boyfriend carried my new chair in for me. So. And then we went. And then we went to so, see. So Saturday, Emma's, we I went to see vacuumed Rob's downstairs. Mom. Then we went to see Rob's mum, didn't we, Lynn? Yeah. Uh, Lynn. Vacuumed downstairs. And we saw the skateboard. But, but the weather wasn't good up there, so it was raining. Did all of that. <sighs> that was over. Wow. Yeah, it got a little bit wet, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, well. And I needed my waterproof. <laughs> you don't need waterproof. It's, it was like a tiny, tiny little bit of rain, Daryl. I needed a wear So it was I did. I defrosted the snake food and I fed the snakes, and all of my snakes ate something yesterday, which is amazing because my python hasn't eaten for about eight months. Oh, and I posted the napkins. I have not written 20 yet, so I'll have to do that a bit later on. Oh, I've got the wrestling timetable. That's in my yeah. notebook. I need to transfer that into here. That's what I bought a postcard. Alex does wrestling. Right. Getting there. Slowly getting there. Right. So, my journal, I literally just. This is how I've done it. I've done. Um, I'm so annoyed because my purple pen ran out, which. And when you refill it, it always changes how it writes. So the first day I did in this blue, bluey grey colour, and then I did day two in this colour, and then day three, I journaled about um, getting my chair and all that lot I did in a different colour, and that's the word for yesterday. So I am literally going to start day four underneath. Um, this is a receipt from say I've joined a napkin swap group for paper napkins because you buy paper napkins in like packs of 20 well who needs 20 of the same freaking design and I thought well that'd be a really good idea if somebody set up a napkin swap mm. Mm, I wonder and I went on Facebook and found like three different groups I drink to and I uh, immediately found somebody who was willing to swap 20 napkins with me bonus so um yeah she's in Northern Ireland so I sent off to her which was lovely so I don't know when I'll receive those I don't know how quick the Irish post is so um Yes, there's not going to be a lot done today, to be perfectly honest. Start with changing the pen. Yeah. Because I'm in a lot of pain. I need to send my postcard. Yeah. I've um, found somebody. I've joined Post Crossings. If you don't know what Post Crossings is, I will link to it down below. Um, what it is, is you, you register, you input your name and address into your account details, and that stays private until somebody is assigned to send you a postcard and you send and receive postcards all around the world so i picked up this one yesterday which i thought was quite cool because it's got all little details on the isle of Wight. like um queen victoria had a home osborne house on the island well osborne house is still there and it's um it's a tourist uh thing hey people that's can go mine. And have, people can go and have a wander around yes yeah. we found this yesterday didn't we bought this yesterday cows is britain's yachting cat capital um, Charles I was imprisoned in Carisbrook Castle. you got Godzilla, Sandown, Shanklin, Culvercliff, Benbridge. Yeah, all, all different little bits and bobs. And it's quite a... Busy day. Yeah, ten, there's Tennyson's. Uh, Tennyson Down is over there. It's quite a cool little postcard. Hang on, I will bring it into focus so you guys can see it. That means... I need it. And get it to focus. Mommy. So I thought it was quite comical and it's, you know, nice to... Yeah, it's a windmill! The lady sunbathing on the beach just there, that is where we live. So yeah, I thought that was quite nice. So I've... Mm -hmm. I've and then what you do is when you're ready to send a postcard, you click a button and they assign you somebody based on no based on matches it's on your profile mine. i said no go away it's go on mine. please you've been a pain so um <laughs> i clicked the button and i got a lady in germany and i'm gonna cover her up so what you do then is you you write a little bit about yourself and you write the postcard id clearly 
onto the postcard and then you send it and then when she receives it or he receives it or whoever when when the recipient receives it they register that they've received it onto the site it's awesome just by using that id and it's, each postcard gets a new id and it's brilliant and i'm hoping that i'm going to receive loads of postcards from all around the world on my journal. so i might actually go and buy like a shitload of these and just send these off so yeah i i quite like that and i might stick one of these in my journal myself and say this is you know gonna be my trademark postcard for a bit pick that up for 30p or three for 50p so yeah i might go back and buy a, a load of those <laughs> that was really chuffed but anyway daryl will you stop seriously give it a rest yeah no it's not yours Go play your toys, please. Go play with your toys, please. Can't breathe. It's fine. Darryl is in shit. Again, <laughs> basically, this is his, when he doesn't get his own way, this is picked up from school behavior that he saw somebody else exhibiting at school and thinks he can bloody well get away with it well he can't again we are all overcast it's not very nice i've got laundry in the machine but i don't know whether it's going to get done but all my neighbors are putting out laundry so i'm rather hoping that um they know something i don't <laughs> So it's a high of 20, see it's even warmer today, it's 23 today, high of 23 and a low of 13, so, you know, 0535 and 846, so yeah, not very nice. Yeah, that post crossings is free to join, you literally just sign up for it. And then um, your address isn't like published. It's not completely public unless somebody clicks send a postcard. And you don't have to become like pen pals. The idea is literally to send and receive postcards all around the world. So if you're into like, you know, junk journaling or scrapbooking or something like that, and you want postcards, but you'll join up. I thought it was a great idea. And it also means that you haven't got to find shit to say. You just have your introductory bit that you scroll on a postcard and that's it i mean i wrote quite a bit i wrote um greetings from the isle of wight i'm sam 44 single mum to five kids i enjoy knitting spinning uh painting and scrapbooking the island is a very small island at the bottom of the uk map and exports garlic all around the world no matter where you are here you are no more than a 20 minute drive from the sea the ferry to get here is totally overpriced though have a great day sam so i need to think of other things that i can write that you know might be a little bit more interesting <laughs> I might actually put it on the um, Isle of Wight information pages and say, if you were going to send a postcard to somebody, what would you tell them about the Isle of Wight? Answers to fit on a postcard. Because <laughs> I can make my writing quite small, but I don't, you know, I don't want to over put too much on there because it's, you know. There we go. All done. That can go away. Today I've put some day face cream on and that's it. I haven't done anything else. Like I said, I'm not going to get a lot done. I'm resting today. Okay, let's now do... Isis, stop it. Isis, stop it. Green Witch Tarot. And because it's the Green Witch Tarot, we are going to use green. So we'll do three, one, two. I'm going to have to draw some more boxes. If, if I decide to use any of my other decks, that is. Oh, I like this card. It's a ton of chalices. Or cups in some decks. This basically means family time. Whether it's the family you have or the family you choose. Spend some time with your family. They are what make you stronger. Um, 
they are what make you happy that's nice i like that card that's but that's basically what that comes down to that is the bare bones of that card and i love that card because it is such a it's such a nice card I just put family time. They make you stronger and happy, whether yours or the family you chose. Right, 13138 was yesterday. 5.59 miles. So sleep was bad, apparently. That says I didn't go to sleep till three o'clock. Gosh, really? So it's late as that. Woke about eight. And then I was awake for about half an hour in the middle of the night as well. And yet I felt like it was a reasonably good night. So that's why I do this graph because although that is not a lot of sleep, I actually slept quite well. That's why I think it's important to track how good you feel because even if you had a crappy crappy night and if you're an insomniac you know you might only sleep a couple of hours a night I used to um, but it's it, it's whether you feel good afterwards mm. oleophobic coating pardon I managed to activate Siri somehow then Hey Siri, what is oleophobic coating? Okay, I found this on the web for what is oleophobic coating. No. Check it out. Define oleophobic coating. I found this on the web. Oleophobic is resistant to oil. Apparently. <laughs> I think it's because I was talking about whether it felt good. Siri obviously got a little bit excited. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so I've cleaned the loo. I haven't yet stripped the beds. I'm going to go do that in a minute. But I do have a load in the laundry already. Oh, I've got to clean the bathroom. So today I need to make a spiral for it windy. I've got loads to do. This is just And I need to set up next week. Which as I said is sitting there already. So I'm gonna do the word now. Mainly because in case I have another bad day and don't get on tonight. See what I do is I record this bit and I edit it now. Or I'll edit it in a minute. Cutty. Um, but otherwise I've got to edit I mean we're at half an hour now otherwise that's half an hour I've got to edit later and if I'm on for another half an hour later then that's an hour I've got to edit and it takes as long to edit it as it does to watch your original footage so if I've got an hour of raw footage it's going to take me an hour plus a little bit more to edit it whereas if I edit this bit now it'll be done so I don't want that pen I want that pen the word for today is organized <laughs> and i'm going to spell it the english way rather than the american way because she put a z in it and in england it's organized 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 no it's organized with an s because, you know, english. americans do all that crap to our language it's just it's funny because if you look it up if you type in organized with an s into the uk it then gives you the um meaning in um the american spelling with a z i mean while i z e is 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 allowed here we prefer i s e so yeah so you're wrong if you change it okay so i need my little reference book 
Because you changed the language. Well, you tried to. Won't have it. Okay, so. Love the eye. I think the eye is bloody brilliant. I'm having to adjust it on some of them because when I wrote the template out, I did it exactly how Jashi said. Like, for instance, the S goes from one dot up to the next dot, down to the next dot. But if I do it that, then it's an awfully big space. I only want it to be half a space, so I need to come in to there. I do love the eye. I think those are brilliant. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do you think it should be more spaced out like that? It just looks a bit... That was it spaced out how it should be. It just looks too, too wide. I was using a thinner pen then. Using a slightly thicker pen now. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know whether I'll get it all done, mainly because I don't think I can carry the vacuum cleaner up the stairs. So that might have to wait until my son gets home from work. I'll get him to carry it up for me. I might do it tomorrow. I've got to do the bathroom as long as I'm careful. And I might strip the beds tomorrow instead because again it's it's the bending to do it. Um, that's that's the thing I'm having trouble with is the bending because the pressure it's putting on the lower back. So yeah. So how are you all? I hope you're all okay. Um, I've just realised my mic is freaking miles away that I forgot to move. I moved it last night so my son could watch something and it's all the way over there. Uh, I've only just realised. Shit. So I'm going to have to oomph my sound up now. So I hope it's not too bad. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've all had a good weekend so far. Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me, have you had a good weekend? Have you had a bad weekend? What's been going on? What do you want to chat about? I'm going to go and do at least, uh, it will either be the bathroom or strip the beds. I'm not sure. I'm reclining my chair. My office chair reclines too, uh, which is, while it's nice, it doesn't 100% take the pain off. It still hurts. So yeah. Anyway, oh, it's going to hurt when I stand up. Right. I'm off and I will hopefully see you in the evening edition. Take it easy guys. Bye. Good evening. It's 9.25 and it's time for the evening edition. So, let's see. Did you get much done today? I got a bit done. Um, right, yes, I did a word, didn't I? I've had no booze. I haven't had any fizzy, actually. Did I have to do it? Yes, I had pasty and chips. I haven't crafted yet. I haven't done anything else. I do little things around my sons because they're supposed to be sons and they just look like circles with faces in them. So, yeah. So, today has been sort of pretty meh, really. So, I think I'm going to do that face. And my pain has been that one. Well, it's not sort of been worrying, it's just been boring, really. Been at home all day and. Although I've done housework and stuff and my eldest came around, it's, it's just been a nondescript regular day, you know? I did the bathroom, it took me ages. I did everything, I got down on my hands and knees and swept the floor. My bathroom, the floor space in my bathroom is tiny. It is literally about two metres long and then not even a metre from the door to the bathtub. 
Uh, so it, there's no point taking a broom up there. You might as well just get on your knees and just uh, arms reach around the room. So that's what I did. Um, I did strip my bed. Yay. I did the laundry. Um, I didn't vacuum upstairs. The dishwasher is on and I've just done the worktops and the surfaces and swept the floor. It was hard. It was very, very hard. I made my bed and had a bath. <laughs> so, right. I sent my postcard. I have not yet written to Wendy, so I must text her to say, Ugh! Delay sending tomorrow while, until I get a chance to write something. So, yeah. And we set up week 32. So, yes, I've been very, very busy. Set it up and filled in a couple of little bits. I've still got to work out my bills for this month and add them into my monthly calendar and then to obviously into each week. Um, so yeah I'm gonna do that like that and then I set up like a weekly template because there are things like you know when is wrestling training I forget I'm I am so bad I do I forget everything so I thought well I can make up this template to remind me of things I've got to do so wrestling training is on Mondays at 6 till 8 Wednesdays 7 till 9 Saturdays 12 till 2 and Sundays 6 till 8 I've got to set up the weekends on Wednesday and the races on Friday and do the work week hustle and the scores for the fit bit on Sunday. It's just stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? And then anything else that starts to become a regular weekly thing could be added on here. Oh, pardon me. So there you go. And that, that was, that's pretty much it. I haven't done much else. That's my postcard that I sent off. And I realised as I went offline that it was organised with a D. So I added the D on the end. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I've drawn my little four, so I can colour that in and I can do a little bit of journaling underneath. While I've sort of done a lot in the, you know, I've done the laundry and stripped my bed and cleaned the bathroom and it's been an awful lot of sitting around not doing very much because I needed to rest. So yeah. <laughs> a lot of that. Stick that there. So, not really sure where to write down the name for this channel. I think. Right, quick castle and schools. So, ah. Uh, that was per se weekend and that was races. Okay, whatever. I have made so many mistakes <laughs> this first week. It's absolutely awful. Just constant mistakes. I'm putting things in the wrong places. I'm, I'm drawing things wrong. I've fucked up my square tracker because I put didn't put enough dots on it and then had to like that's why there's those are thinner because I hadn't put enough dots along the middle or something I can't remember so I screwed that one up and then <laughs> ah, I did something else wrong I can't remember what that was it's just been it's just been constant it's been dreadful anyway there we go Oh dear. I might draw another mandala. Don't know, I haven't decided yet. I have to see. I'm hoping to get out tomorrow. So hopefully um, I'll find something to draw. So we'll see. Anyway, that's it. Um, short and sweet, the evening edition. It usually is because it's discretion of me taking stuff off. Um, I have nothing to draw today, so, yeah. That's pretty much it. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, and, um, yeah, feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, 
liking this video and a comment down below and you know all, all, all of that stuff we like all that stuff click the book and you'll be subscribed and if you hit the bell that then appears down below hopefully you'll be notified when i upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today and i will see you in monday's edition of today in my bujo take it easy guys